Hello, everybody. It's a new era. Wow. What a era, era is it? Stream to... music era. Music Whoa. on Drawfee, not clickbait. Not clickbait, not five minutes of silence. Is five real minutes of Freddy? No, it's way. real. <laughs> five minutes of Freddy. <laughs> five minutes of Freddy. That's what they call him. <laughs> That's what oh, I call him. No. Yeah, I hope you all like the song. I I put that one together so we could finally have something. Wow! At the beginning of Drawfee. Wowie wow! Wow wow wow! I'm glad you're all liking it. Wow! Music. I it's was watching us. chat and I was like, when are they gonna get to the part with the ooh? And then I saw all yeah. the chat start typing ooh, and I was like, they must be there. That must they be must the have part. arrived. <laughs> They've arrived at the ooze. <laughs> Welcome. If you missed it, we're going to keep it in the VOD um, so that you know people will know what we're talking about when the stream starts. It's an original track. An so original it can't track. Get content ID'd. No, yeah. unless I do it. <laughs> <gasps> You wouldn't content ideas, would you? What if I made a YouTube channel for my music and then I content <laughs> ID'd Drawfee and stole the revenue so that I could take all the revenue from our streams? That'd be pretty wow. good. That'd be pretty bad. That'd be I would pretty... probably have to kill you. If you could catch Honestly... me, I'd be in a private jet. <laughs> oh no emissions king he's in his emissions era <laughs> his co2 era <laughs> i can't wait to emit just all sorts of things that the environment doesn't like <laughs> um julia's also not on stream tonight we me and julia are both a little sick but julia is sicker than me and so she is um, taking the stream off. She is sitting right there. <laughs> she still won't go to bed. She, she's going to to be at some point. Allegedly. Allegedly, she's going to to be. <laughs> but um, that's why we're not in the same place today. Me and Julia stayed home today, so we wouldn't give our <laughs> nastiness to Karina and Nathan. I'm all alone. <laughs> It just so small. And as a result, we get we get the joy of tiny Karina. Tiny Karina all alone <laughs> in the middle of the camera. Well, you're not really alone. You've got Yugi. Help. <laughs> help. 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 Sora. Sora. Sora, help. Um, anyway, we're streaming. It's a normal we're stream. We're, we're doing like a stream where we draw stuff. Yeah. Hell yeah. And we're going to just be, <laughs> the vibes are going to be low. Nathan and I will bring the vibes. Yeah, yeah dude. I'm not going to Jacob can bring help. <laughs> Nathan, was this, is this you listening to the new Drawfee stream yeah, this is song? This is me when, when the ooze hit. Ooh. You start grooving. <laughs> you start doing your ooh groove. Did did you recognize that the um the sort of replacement hi hat in the ooh section is the swish from the swish we use in episodes? I don't even know what a hi hat is. Hi hat. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the oohs and the swishes. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Ooh and swoosh. Yeah. I I thought about putting clang thud in there. But I I couldn't find a place for Clang Thud. Maybe in V two of the song we'll fit in Clang Thud. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. the that remix, leaves, leaves the room club for, remix. Yeah, for further innovation. <laughs> the club remix. The club remix is gonna have Clang Thud on every downbeat yeah. for the whole song. Who's gonna song. be the featured collab? <laughs> the featured collab. In the remix, oh we should gosh. just do a remix album. I feel like, you know, now that I've heard some of Jonah's music, oh, we got to yeah. get Jonah to like drop a verse in the, <laughs> in the collab. <laughs> or Jason Derulo. Verse. Yeah, or Jason Derulo. <laughs> or both. Or both. Duet. Or both. I thought you were going to say or Bo. Or Bo. Like, <laughs> <of the show. laughs> yeah, or Bo. Known singer, see, Bo. I could see Barrett getting in there. Just... <laughs> Just start talking. Yeah. Just bear it as clothespin boy. Yeah. Guess first by Jonah. 
a rap break by Barrett. And by rap break, I mean he just talks really fast. He just fast. talks. I don't yeah. have any evidence of this, but I just believe in my heart that Barrett's got bars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, he... I don't think he has bars, but I do think he can talk fast and a lot. That's that's <laughs> bars. It's not. But... That's sort of bars. <laughs> it's oh. sort of bars. You could just put... Uh... Jonah's mumble rap that he did for the uh, <laughs> for the for the merch. What is ad. bro doing? Dot wave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you start them at the same time, they actually sync up. It's it's crazy. Whoa, that's insane. Yeah. And <laughs> do also, you want me to dark ask side him to moon. do a to do a guest verse for us? <laughs> yeah. For the club remix. For the club remix. As someone who is not involved at all in making the music, I, I say yes, absolutely. How hard can it be? How hard can it be? Just make a few. I feel, like, I feel like typically, though, someone else does the club remix. Like, if I do it myself, that seems, like, embarrassing. What's, that, what's embarrassing about that? Like, I made my song, and then I was like, now I'm going to make a club remix of my song. Yeah. Yeah. Something no, just doesn't seem right about that's it. That's confident. You're so confident that the song Are you not would sound confident good. Confident in your song? It's a great song. In I'm the club. confident in the song. I'm saying like I, I, someone else has to do it. Maybe I'll just do know. it under a different name. Yeah. Sort of. Oh, there goes Julia. <laughs> just <She's>... lie. <laughs> <laughs> all, all bundled up. Oh yeah. Bye. She's ghosting out of the Goodbye. room. Bye. Bye, Julia. Feel better. Um, we probably need drawing suggestions, huh? Probably. I'm just going to keep sort of drawing the, these music vibes. Oh, Carolyn is raiding us. Whoa. Wow. Hi, Carolyn. Whoa. Hi, Carolyn Raiders. What's up, Carolyn Raiders? See y'all tomorrow. We're going to be playing some more BG3. I won't be. BJDs? Wow. BGDs. BGDs. Wow. Nuts. BGDs nuts. <laughs> BGDs nuts. Um, what should Nathan draw to get us going here? What would y'all like to see me draw to get us going here? I guess I should look at the suggestions. Yeah, you have to look. Otherwise, you won't I, know what they're I, saying. I can't, I can't know what they are if I'm not looking. It's just a um, little trick. You have to look. Okay. <laughs> I, saw, I saw Ninja Turtle, but not Teenager. <laughs> Adult Ninja <laughs> just Turtle. A, just a, a, a middle-aged Ninja Turtle. Just a guy. He's just a, I mean, he's just a turtle. He's still a ninja and a turtle, but he just, he also has like a mortgage. I don't know. He's got, he can't just live in the sewer eating pizza yeah. 24 7 anymore. Look up some ninja. There, there are so many iterations of Ninja Turtle, is the thing. Because they don't even really look like teenagers. The new um, ones do. In the, okay. In well, that new the, movie? In the new movie, they really leaned into the teenager part, but. Yeah, I, lo I love their designs. I think they look so cute. They have oftentimes just sort of looked like i mean they mostly look like turtles if i'm being honest yeah but you know we'll we'll but figure like the it live out. action ones yeah those they, look like those, adult turtles those, those are adult turtles well maybe we just <laughs> we just sort of we go with that that can, sort can of can you vibe. give him that one fucked up face it was like Raphael turtles fucked up mask face that's they like the meme they were all fucked up where he's like, like got his teeth, teeth out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's I'm, I'm going to make him more adult yeah. looking. So he's like It's like this, right? Where it's like the teeth are like adult turtles have a full set of teeth. Yeah. Human we teeth. We all know that. And I think like the main thing that I'm noticing as I transition from from teen to to young adult to adult mm -hmm. is like the main difference is I don't feel like wiser or smarter. I just I'm just more tired. So I oh, think yeah. maybe 
maybe it just sort of like a tired ninja turtle yeah you definitely you definitely get more tired for sure i think i'm probably wiser and smarter in many ways than what than when i was a young adult and then when i was a teen i guess oh. that's true i i guess i was <laughs> i wasn't uh but that's just because the bar was so low <laughs> <laughs> I feel like as a 30, nearly 35 year old adult man, there, there's a lot of things that I no longer, that I no longer trifle with that I would have trifled with at a, as a younger man. What did you use to trifle with grandpa? I feel like when you're like 19, you trifle with everything, like everything that comes your way, you're trifling with it. Oh, but now it's gotta be. You got to really make me want to take the time to trifle if I'm going to trifle. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm simply not going to do it. You have to make the case. Yeah. J just you presenting me with something that I could trifle with is not enough. It's not enough anymore. It used to be enough. <laughs> so what did chat said? I'm 19 with like five exclamation points. Aw, I'm and sorry. Are you, are you trifling? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Get well soon. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> See, when you're 19, you walk right into these things. <laughs> well, I mean, the good That's thing about, trifling. about being 19 is that it's got a 100% cure rate. Yeah. <laughs> um, it just like, it literally just takes time. Typically one year. Julia, do you Maybe need something? Got some stubble. Wow. You're not oh, on the screen. You're gross. just standing here. Yeah. I'm sort wow. of splitting the difference between a lot of, um, a lot of different Ninja Turtle references. Which, here. which reference is the one where he's got stubble? Well, that's th that's my own creative choice that I've made. Oh, okay. This is like a old, a, an old mutant ninja turtle who just got veneers. <laughs> 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 He's like, do they look good? <laughs> what do you think? What, what do, do you, you think? think? Do 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 the teeth look too youthful for me? Compared to the rest of me, does it make the rest of me look older? <laughs> Because the teeth are so young. Because the teeth are so young. <laughs> These are the things you have to worry about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which of the turtles should this be, do we think? Um, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> this one's Michael. This is Michael. Well, that's what he goes by now. Yeah. I, I don't go by Mikey anymore. It's Michael. Or Mr. Angelo. Or, mi or Mr. Angelo. <laughs> He's giving me like, sure. like old Clint Eastwood vibes. Which is a bad yeah. vibe. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can we euthanize him, please? <laughs> <laughs> listen i'm gonna say it because everyone is thinking it euthanizing should mean turning someone young again <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that it doesn't is like an english language mistake it seems like something captain crunch would do to an adult in a commercial <laughs> Euthanizing captain. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh gosh. And captain Crunch is like, there's gotta be another way. <laughs> Are you sure Are about you sure? that? <laughs> <laughs> we, there's other things we can try first. 
Is that how the captain sounds? What's he's, his deal? Isn't he like, ho ho, come aboard my ship? Isn't he kind of like that? Yeah, I guess. I feel like I have such a distinctive like voice in my head for for like Tony the Tiger. And then you, like Captain yeah. Captain Crunch just like is it's it's static. It's like I don't <laughs> hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was so strange. When Nathan was a child, he would go up to the TV and Captain Crunch would just go <sighs> <laughs> And Nathan loved it. Nathan Nathan went to his parents and was like, remember when I used to watch Captain Crunch on TV as a kid? And they were like, what do you mean? You were just watching Static the whole time. <laughs> no, that's just what he said. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't get it, Mom. <laughs> you were just listening to Static the whole time. I was, well, I, I was watching voice. I was watching Static Shock, but for the, the commercial portion... Superhero Static Shock. Superhero Static Shock. <laughs> Everyone whoop, remembers. Whoop. Everyone remembers Superhero Static Shock. Yeah. I can't whoop 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 right now. My voice is, won't do the... It won't go high enough to whoop whoop. Why? Why? Because I'm like a little sick. Just a little. <laughs> Skill issue. It is a skill issue. I don't have the skill right now to yeah, do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> He's holding a hand mirror up to his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know about these veneers. <laughs> Are they too big? Are these veneers? Is it, does it make my mouth look big? Is this what I look like now? I asked oh, for Michael. a large, but... Maybe I should have gone with a medium. <laughs> what have they done to you, Michael? Oh, Michael. Do you think you can go to, like, the dentist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, man. I think that is possible. <laughs> but you Sorry, need dental I'm, insurance. My cat started going crazy on the scratching post behind me, and it distracted me. Well, we answered your question. Yeah, you can Holy go to the shit. dentist She's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's that's one thing down, but I have a second part to the question. Okay. Okay. Do you think you can go to the dentist and ask? <laughs> oh. And, like, you're getting veneers, right? And you're like, just give me some big ones. Why am I getting <laughs> veneers? Because you you want big ones. You think your you, teeth are you, big I enough. don't. I think my teeth are really cute the way they are. Yeah, but imagine oh, if, yeah. You, if you wanted big ones. I wouldn't want that. I, I can't imagine. really put myself in this scenario. Just imagine. No, I can't imagine it. It's too unrealistic. But I'll imagine try and imagine you, it. Nathan, can you <laughs> imagine I'll, it? I'll, I'll try. I'll try. I'll Thank try. you, Nathan. Thank you. Like, there doesn't have to be anything wrong with your current teeth. Just imagine if what you really wanted was big ones. Okay, so I'm, I'm at the dentist, and I've, I've asked for the big ones. Yeah. And what and largest teeth, please. <laughs> and so and then they look at me like what do you what do you mean the big ones? Or or do you think they go, "Oh, yes, of course, the big great choice." I'm saying, "Do you think you could go in and ask for the big ones? Do you think they would give you big ones? Do you think, think they I have could, big ones?" I think I could ask for the big ones. I don't know if if they would give me the big ones. I think I I don't know that I have the um the force of personality to like they <laughs> to have big teeth to have the well I think what would happen is I would ask for the big ones and they would go like they, they would they would give me any pushback at all they'd be like what and I'd be like no no nothing never mind they'd be like you the big ones <laughs> for you'd you be like what are you what are you sure. talking about and I'd be like I don't it was just a bit I was just doing a bit it's stupid forget it forget it that's don't worry about it is like if i'm being honest that's how it would go i think spider 13 said i think they have to copy your teeth as molds but what if you gave them like big teeth to put in the yeah, molds what if what if i'm already wearing sort of novelty big teeth yeah when they go to do the mold <laughs> yeah <laughs> what if my teeth are actually 
you you just have to keep going in for veneers and each time it gets like a little bigger with the mold <laughs> oh yeah i guess that would work <laughs> so maybe like 10 veneers in you'll have big teeth you go to like different dentists yeah, each time you have to you have to dentist hop and you're like, oh, no, these are my natural teeth, but I'd like some veneers on top of them, please. And you have to make sure please. that, like, the new dentist, like, isn't friends with the old dentist. Yeah, you have yeah. to, like, really have skip to, town. You have to change your whole identity. Each time. You have to really make it your whole life's mission to get the big ones. <laughs> to have big veneers. <laughs> big <laughs> veneers for your teeth. But if that's what you want, then... You know, I respect it. That's all I'm saying. I respect it. If you're I out there and you want it. the big ones, then I respect it. And I think you should live your truth. Respect it. Take a bite out of truth. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, we had some prepared conversation topics for this stream <laughs> <laughs> that I would love to get into. All right. Yeah, yeah Karina, do you want to? Oh, me first. Start? Well, I'm since I'm drawing. True. Um. So I've been pissed off <laughs> <laughs> as usual. Um. Because I had an idea for a really, really funny bit, and it got ruined. So, um, one of my friends, uh, she keeps tabs on an auction house near her because, you know, you can get like good deals on furniture and stuff. Well, they put up a bunch of new lots and at first she was going through them and being, uh, <laughs> It's auction drama, but um, she was going through them and was like showing me all of these listings of like Funko Pop lots. And um, we were laughing at them and we were just like, Haha, when are the anime figures going to show up in these auction houses, huh? And uh, right as we said that, she started finding the, <laughs> the anime figure lots and my God, <laughs> They were some of the most like hentai ass, like, like scandalizing figures, like shit that I've never seen. It's all retro <laughs> stuff, like old head anime stuff, like no clothes, barely any clothes, removable clothes, like all girls, all like under boob, everything, kitty Over out, boob. all the boobs everywhere. Side oh my boob. God all in box and all like basically new to gently used and they were in there were like eight lots with like between five and eight boxes per lot with all starting bids of twenty dollars and me and this friend start <laughs> getting <laughs> ideas <laughs> of oh if we can keep the price low on these auctions why this could be the funniest book off flip of all time <laughs> <laughs> and so um because she's like not a lot of people know about this auction house i only ever see old people when i go there so like hopefully like over the course of the next 17 days when she found these lots it won't go too crazy and we can have a funny bit where we buy all these like anime titty figurines and then like I bring them back on the bus and sell them to book off. Well, within one day, some someone found every single lot there and drove the prices up to $225 each, which is ridiculous. Oh my and God. I was so mad. And like, that's a lot of money. That's like not worth it. No. So we had to like immediately give up our dreams of like buying a bunch of like used anime booby figurines. And like some of them were really funny. And I was like so devastated and i'm just like so mad <laughs> i'm like how, and like nothing else on this site is list like all of the things on this site are for like 
$20, like current bid, $40. It's just these anime lots got driven up to $225 with 16 days remaining. And I feel crazy because like, <laughs> how do you not know how to auction? Yeah, they didn't even my, wait like to yeah, until I'm just like, later on. My bit, my beautiful bit. Men ruin everything. Yeah. And I don't know that a man did this, but I'm just saying. But you do. <laughs> you don't know that a man did this, but you kind you kind of do. I'm just saying that like if something is listed for current bid $30, it's a very masculine energy to then bid $225 with 16 <laughs> yeah. days remaining. I'm just saying. So I was annoyed <laughs> so, like, about was that. It, was it even a bid war or did someone just like go crazy? I don't crazy? know. Like some people were putting low bids in, but there was one <laughs> listing because they were all like listed under different categories on the online catalog. So seven of the lots were under like TV merchandise or something. And then one of them was under action figures. So we were just like, no, they found them. Because they didn't but, have a, a porn category. Yeah, obviously. A filth category, <laughs> a, a degeneracy category. But um, the one that was listed separately under action figures, they did not immediately find it. So like overnight, um, like Saturday to Sunday, <laughs> this was like my whole weekend of just being like, no, um, Saturday to Sunday, like they had driven up the price on all of the other ones in the other category, but they hadn't found the one that was under action figure. And it was still listed at $30 before I hopped on stream with uh, like Lil Karibo and Marin uh, yesterday, it was at $30, I swear to you. And then when I got off of stream, it was at $225. And I'm like, who did that? that What's the right. point? What did you accomplish? I feel crazy. They were like, these figures are being undervalued and I will see to it that they are sold for an appropriate price. <laughs> No, I wanted to do my bit. <laughs> Enjoy paying your 23% auction fee, you idiot. You could have just kept the price low and we could have had fun. No, no one wants to have fun. I want to have fun. So that's my, that was my drama of the weekend. <laughs> Maybe this, this person's idea of fun is spending way too much on an auction for no reason. Apparently. Maybe that's fun for him. I feel like $225 is a really specific amount and a lot of them are sitting at $225. So it must be the same person. So they're just spending like upwards of $1,000 on these like pursuit. I don't want to assume it's an estate sale, but it is an auction house with a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm just like, come on. It would have been funny if I could buy them, but I'm not wasting my money on that. So whatever. But I did get to see some interesting figures I've never seen before. And I guess that's a bit of a reward. So that makes it all worth it. Yeah. <laughs> not that we can show you, chap, but Karina showed us this figure that's my new favorite character, which is anime girl in maid outfit who keeps strategically falling onto a broom in such a way that it goes up through all of her clothes, uh, yeah. tearing them off. Yeah, the broom is perfectly erect. <laughs> And she is pulling away from the broom in a way that it's pulling her clothes off of her body. Like imagining the, what it's... had to happen to get her in that position is like occupied most of my day now. <laughs> since seeing, since, that's how I felt. Like I just kept looking, like glancing at a picture of it and being like, girl, how do we get here? <laughs> Because she looks on her face, she is shocked. She's like, how she's could this like, have happened? Like, oh my God, how did this happen? And um, and she's like flustered. But honestly, the strength with which like that broom is pulling away her clothes, like <laughs> I think she should be in more pain. <laughs> the kitty wedgie is like intense. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's like one of those Mickey Mouse Fantasia brooms. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the broom is, is like did this intentionally i i was telling ansta about it ansta so ansta knows and ansta just said she has the same expression as if someone dropped their chipotle <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
I love having this conversation while Nathan just keeps making this image sadder <laughs> and sadder through like little additions. But yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was my time. upsetting thing of the weekend. Not helped by the fact that I've also been tracking an auction for a Terra Terra Vash plush, and that's also been going awry because some people didn't grow up as a Neopets capitalist and don't know how to do an auction. It's uh, ridiculous. You gotta teach them. <laughs> like, why are you driving the price that started at $10 like for a 10 day auction period, why would you already have the price at a hundred dollars with four days remaining? It's Are you Sigma stupid? mindset. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't understand the grind set. It's a grind set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to spend money to make money. Everyone should just so stop true. buying the things that I want to buy. <laughs> Nathan, we should start one of those podcasts that only exists on TikTok. Yeah. Where it's just like one of us on a vertical format with headphones on looking to the right like we're talking to someone. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk about how you need to spend $225 on hentai figurines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in order to be a Sigma. Someone in chat said, would you rather the price be $100 at the last second? Yes. Because the thing with this Teru Teru Vash auction is that... It already happened. It ended last Sunday. And you know what it ended at? <laughs> I'm the one on the podcast now. It ended <laughs> at $189, which is more than you can buy it for on most buy now listings because people couldn't control themselves. So they just drove the price up like crazy at the last minute when it could have been lower if everyone just acted normal. And then you know what happened after that? It got relisted the next day because the person realized <laughs> their mistake so now it's just back up for auction and it's already back over a hundred dollars <laughs> do you That's understand my rage <laughs> well, we can't have nice things this is why you can't have nice things i don't even like doing auctions <laughs> i just can't believe i'm surrounded by people who aren't smart about spending money <laughs> i just i i don't want to you know like devil's advocate you karina but the dudes who are spending 225 on the hentai figurines they've already got their vash figurine because they just dropped like 300 bucks on it never look back i know they're doing that sigma spending <laughs> <laughs> I would be like fighting harder if there was a Terra Terra Vash in that auction house, but I just wanted to like buy cheap anime girl titty figurines and flip them like for fun. Because like there's also a bunch of like lots of Star Wars figurines that are not being ga price gouged to hell by like <laughs> horny weebs. But that's just not as funny, so I don't care no. about flipping those. I agree. <laughs> but um, yeah. I I didn't I didn't tweet. Yeah, why well, no tweet? Because Julia's not here. Julia's and we're not dumb. on the stream, so I didn't tweet. I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> anyway, just, that's that's we, my auction drama that I'm we mad so about. Because <laughs> I'm smarter for the song. than everyone. <laughs> we started streaming forty minutes ago. Lamau. <laughs> Lamau. The Lamau saves it for sure. People will be like, ah, oh, so relatable. They're so funny. That's what they're going to say. And good good on everyone who comes to streams not from Twitter, which yeah. is. We, we shouldn't. You don't need to be on there. There's nothing good on there except. <laughs> Us telling you when we're streaming. Yeah. I opened up the gifts and I immediately saw Super Nut again. <laughs> so I'm just putting the Super Nut gif on this one no! too. <laughs> Luigi's Super Nut. This is my favorite gif of all time. <laughs> I just want it to be known. And I think I like it even more because I forget about it whenever I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Apparently. You know? And then when I see it again. You're seeing it with fresh eyes. It's just, he's screaming so <laughs> loudly. He's getting that super nut. He's getting that super nut. 
His mouth is like 75% of his head. Yeah. That's how much it takes. <laughs> Welcome, uh, super nutters who are just coming in. Yeah, super nut. Can we get a nut? Can you nut in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh I, I'm done. Emoji. I, I'm done with this drawing, by the way. Nice. Nathan, I like it. It definitely <laughs> is upsetting. I like what you did. But also with it. skillful. Yeah. You, know, you did a, a good job. Just a first drawing of the stream, you know? Yeah. Just uh just one. Just one to get the, the juices just, just flowing. Just one. <laughs> just one. All right, I'll draw next. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I got really heated. I'll tell my other, uh, just East Coast energy story going on right now, which is I always call my mom on Friday mornings at the exact same time. Also, please, drawing suggestions. Please, please. And so last Friday, I called her and she was like, you are one minute late. And I was like, well, I do actually have a reason because I heard a strange noise coming from outside and mm. it was, I went to go look what it was because I'm nosy and it was a truck just dumping blue fluid into oh, the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You showed us. The, yeah, it looked I like it was the truck. I was nosy and I was like at a loss. <laughs> There's like a lot near me where people sometimes dump like trash, but a truck just pulled into the lot and just dumped a bunch of like blue fluid blue <laughs> into <Gatorade>. the ground. <laughs> Gatorade um, blue flavor. Yeah, current uh, current leading theory is that it was porta potty fluid. Hmm. Because it was blue. Um, mm hmm. But yeah, so. Hell yeah. I was like, I don't know if you're allowed to be doing that, but whatever. <laughs> are you drawing? Are you drawing him, Jacob? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just wanted to depict him real quick. No one asked for this, I should say. Draw what happened to the fluid. Bro, it got absorbed into the ground. <laughs> it belongs to the earth now. <laughs> That's the earth's fluid. Yeah. Such a such a provocative image. He's so excited about the nut. <laughs> the broom, but it's Asterian. You mean have the Asterian doing the pose? <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep our Asterian streak going? Get his whole weenie wedgied? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be careful around wooden sticks, you know? So yeah. true. <laughs> they tried staking him and this happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh should I like make the broom pose a thing? <laughs> should I expose the world to broom pose? That's, I don't know. I like it being my little thing. It's your choice as an artist. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> it's like if you feel like you want people to see broom pose. That's the power you have. <laughs> and, and you no don't one have can to take share that it. away from you. Yeah. Draw your OC <laughs> like this. <laughs> in broom pose or in super nut pose? <laughs> Draw your OTP like this. <laughs> what, one in broom pose. Or one in, so in which one of you is the broom pose? pose and which one of you is the super nut pose? Chat, you do have to understand that we cannot show broom pose on stream. No. No, we can't. We literally can't. <laughs> You like can't see Luigi's eyes in this either, which I also no. like. Broom pose Vash. Oh, don't threaten me with a good time. And then Super Nut Wolfwood. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the rest of the stream. <laughs> it's sorted. <laughs> 
It's like, is it possible to do the broom pose with the Punisher? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Do you think if we put out an episode of Drawfee uh-huh. and it was just called the Broom Pose slash Super Nut Challenge, Drawing <laughs> Challenge, and we acted like it was like a thing, like going around, we we're like, we've been seeing a lot of this Broom Pose <laughs> Super Nut Challenge, and so we, we wanted to dive do it. in. Oh do you think God. like it would we could like start it up uh, yeah like, because everyone discreetly? everyone watching now would get in the comments and be like oh i'm so glad they finally did it <laughs> yeah they're a little late to this one but yeah i've been i've been waiting to see what they would do but they did the it broom, <laughs> the broom post super nut challenge took you guys long took enough, you guys long enough. <laughs> <laughs> people are still doing this <laughs> Post super nut chat. <laughs> it's just one of the characters in the foreground doing the super nut. <laughs> it's a new Fortnite dance. <laughs> oh, he hit in the super nut. <laughs> and then the other just like off to the side doing the broom pose. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I won't, I cannot lie. <laughs> I love this, and I cannot lie. This is very artistic, Jacob. Well, I, I feel very strongly about this. Yeah, you, you clearly were inspired. And then, you know, we're just going to write super nut. <laughs> write super nut. And I got to draw the little peanut. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about the broom pose is that no one knows what the broom pose is. <laughs> but you can you can imagine <laughs> we're like not even sharing it. I guess we can't no. share it. We can't. If you, if you draw it's it, it's genuine. <laughs> I can draw it, but I'll have to take some liberties so yeah. that it's not TOS. Yeah. Can I post it in mod chat? Uh, let me get the correct images. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good drawing of Supernut. Thank you. <laughs> the face she's making with the broom is is like, how did this happen? When I'm like, like so tempted to just you, buy the broom figurine from a different seller. You can't make that happen by accident. It's impossible. I you love have this to, figurine. You have to try so hard. <laughs> it's camp. Me looking camp in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> which um which game is is Super Nut from? It it's, looks like it's gotta be one of the Mario and Luigi's. Yeah, Super Brothers. I the brothers. I think it's Mario and Luigi Super Brothers. Super Nut Brothers. Super Nut Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> me okay, I when kinda... i see the super nut <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> just scoot him over a little bit i want to add like a okay i, I know what i want to do i need another one another need one another one another one Another one. Don't, don't put it there yet. Put it right there. Oh, you're gonna do the, vibe, the like blur. Yeah, I got. I gotta get a blur. Yeah, so we can see the motion. Mm. Needs to be a the excitement. A 180 degree. Yes. Sort of blur. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I need to go both directions. Both directions. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find the right strength. Yeah. That's pretty I good. I think that's it. That looks great. And then we're just gonna do that. Perfect. Flawless. I mean, maybe I just get a little <laughs> bit of um, 
Oh yeah. Screen tone in here. <laughs> New emote <laughs> one. We do need emotes. Oh, Didn't they could add do, more animated emotes? emotes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just have to get rid of it down here. Oh, I need to rasterize your ass, huh? Here we go. Here we Perfect. go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we can use this the next time we tweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I had a great time. Should I draw something else or or no? If you want. If you want. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. You were just struck with inspiration. Yeah. I'll 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 do, do like a color of this and I'll try to make an emote out of it. Nice. <laughs> if I remember to do that. But that's the thing. I never remember. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unless it's Enzo. You just... <laughs> <laughs> I can, you can't just ask Enzo. me to do it. I remember. You remember? That's why, that's why I keep making all the <laughs> fucking emotes. That's why we have so many like Legoshi themed emotes. <laughs> Karina, make me super nut emote, please. Okay. And then I'll put it, I'll put it in the Twitch. Heard. Okay. Heard, Chef. Her, yes, chef. <laughs> yes, chef. We chef. Ow. Um. Not you. Broom pose just hit number one on Google Zeitgeist. <laughs> Everyone is googling broom pose. <laughs> no context. <laughs> broom pose. I need to see the broom pose. <laughs> Love sick said Todd from cardio. And I, I like that. I was just, I'm going to draw a Todd doing cardio. Okay. I've written a note to super nut emote, but I misspelled nut. How did you misspell nut? I wrote, um, super not emote. Super, super not. not. <laughs> Can there be another one where like Luigi's oh, like so looking, <laughs> looking down angrily and it's super not. <laughs> It's just super not an emote. All of our emotes are just going to be Luigi shaking. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can make like the emote shake, can't you? You can do like an animated well, didn't one. Didn't they add more animated emotes? I think so. I saw it while I was aggressively scrolling in order to not read anything. There, there they are. They're showing us. Yeah, there's, there's freaking Doig Swift look at, ones. Look yeah. at them go. Who said and super not ones. emote? Guards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want one like the shaking Ansta face, but it's Luigi's nut face. Easy. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone. Everyone who's made this possible. Yeah. Yeah, we got some good emotes there. <laughs> no, some of those, none of the moving ones are ours, but... It's fun to see ours next to the moving ones. We like to be sort of several years behind the times. Yeah. yeah. So now here we are in 2024 being like, you can make them animated? You could make a picture that moves Holy. and put it in the chat? I guess we don't have a single animated. Well, we have like barely any emotes because we never make them. Yeah. <laughs> we should do that. Yeah. I keep. More... I feel like I say this at least every three streams. You know, we're not really doing the typical Twitch route where the majority of our effort goes to YouTube and we stream once a week for two hours. Yeah, and that's maybe um, at an emote like once a year. But people like our stream. I appreciate that. I like it too. It's just, it's a little, it's, it's casual. We can't, we can't put too much effort into it or we'll lose that casual flavor, you know? The, the mystique. Yeah. Jacob yeah. just made a theme song. 
I know, and that's already. <laughs> I pushing know exactly. It. That's why we gotta, we gotta <laughs> calm down, y'all. <laughs> if we start doing theme song and animated emotes, people are gonna start having expectations. Yeah, we uh, might did get I say Jonah said he was nominated in. for Twitch? Jonah's gonna themes. drop a verse. Yeah, he's gonna drop a verse. Oh hell yeah! He said you can duet too. Ooh, ooh! All right, I just have to get um. I have to just make the club remix. Yeah. yeah. Which I will do. Hell yeah. Yeah. He said that like half an hour ago. I just got really carried away talking about <laughs> my own problems. I mean, there was, we were, yeah, we were in the midst of a a journey that you were taking us on. <laughs> Scheduling with Jonah takes a backseat to... Pose saga 2024. Like, reply, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Talking about broom pose. <laughs> Can you wait to respond to my text until after I'm done talking about broom pose, please? And these idiots, I keep going to like, or well, choosing not to go to war with in these auctions. <laughs> It's not worth my goddamn time or money. Oh, yeah. Todd's really... Todd's working it. Getting getting a sweat going. You know, Todd's got a... Um, a, a 2024 resolution. Yeah. To maybe stop lounging seductively <laughs> as All often. The time. Yeah. I mean, still most of the time. Yeah, just take a break. Take a little cardio break from lounging. <laughs> it's sort You're of going to get burnt out on lounging seductively, King. Similar, similar vibes to my uh, my resolution. Yeah, it's like, like very attainable. Have you still been doing your your pushies? Yeah, dude. Wow. I'm up to I'm up to fifteen. Ooh, that's good, Ooh. dude. Way to go. I'm Thank proud you. of you. I'm thinking about possibly incorporating crunches. Oh, Ooh. yes. Love a crunch. Much like but, Captain know, Crunch. Not, much like <laughs> Dude, you will literally euthanize your body if you start doing these exercises. <laughs> You'll he be amazed. His mouth and I just hear <laughs> and then you're euthanized yeah. <laughs> yay. yay oh look at him go that's me that's me every time I go to do a push up it's like mm, mm, today can't be the day I break my streak mm. do not tangent into that whisker are you kidding me oh my god dude what did you think was going to happen? That's painful. I was hoping it, things would be different, you know? Oh, Todd's also got like this weird little... <laughs> Why did Julia give him like a little chin strap beard? <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Our most problematic character, legally speaking. <laughs> I love how freaking Pal World is out here, you know, no problems cruising. And Nintendo's coming down on us for Todd from Mario. I think if we just don't call it from, Mar like, from we can Mario, we can continue. Yeah, I mean, I he's, know that's he's just, the issue. He's just Todd. Chat, would it be to your interest if we, like, made mm, some sort of, like, Todd merchandise like a plush or like something else but we did copyrights like cl cleanse him so that maybe <laughs> the hat's him. different and he's not called todd from mario yeah check this out yeah you ready for this shit yeah oh oh shit who's that oh my god <laughs> who's <Yeah>. that <laughs> like i don't know who this it's is one of those things where it's just like does it does it take away from the charm if we make it so that he is not liable to get cease and desist by Nintendo of America? Mm. I don't think it does. <laughs> I think he's charming enough 
his charm never came from him looking like Toad because he doesn't look like Toad. No, he looks like a, a yeah. very realistic, but somehow like sensual. Awesome I just personally feel like that if you drew. take away the fact that it's Todd from Mario. Yeah, it's, it's a little different. It's, it's not. It doesn't different. like destroy the image. No. But also it's like, but you, you know, it's like a little secret. Because you've got the merchandise, and it's it's you know it's a it's a little different. We'll call yeah. the merch Todd, and then in parentheses, I wonder where he's from. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm writing this. I'm I'm putting this in my notes right next to my uh, misspelled super not emo nut. <laughs> Chat <laughs> said yes. <laughs> she said exclamation yes. point smiley. Just on a little treadmill. Yeah. mill. Because yeah, we can dude. only make Todd merch. We can only make any drawing merch if it is copyright cleansed. So yeah. this, it's just something I've been thinking about because I'm, I'm the merch designer and it's the start of the year, you know? You know, we're coming up with the things we're going to be doing this whole year. Well, I, li I like to get a feel of what people are into. Because... What's the treadmill look like? It's got like one of these. Yeah. Usually there's like a, yeah, he's really, the fact that he's not holding on to anything, he's really just, just going for it. Impressive, Todd. Very impressive. This is, you know, you how you get the best, the best, the best gains. <laughs> Todd from Maryland. The beast. The beast. Todd from Maryland. <laughs> Why is he from Maryland? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it sounds the most like Mario. Yeah. Maryland oh is the most oh Mario coded God. state. <laughs> it's the most Mario coded of the states. Yeah. It's a me, Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Old Bay. <laughs> That's what I used to call my ex-girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh my god! You hearing this? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Good for you, Todd. Keep it up. And you know he's going straight from this back to lounging. <laughs> yeah. He's earning that lounge. When he wants to stop, he just he just stops running and the treadmill shoots him back over <laughs> to his to lounging the fireplace. spot. Yeah. What a life. That's how I'm trying to be. Okay, I'm done. You want to draw Karina? Okay. Uh, gimme, gimme, gimme. What should I draw? Dare I ask? Only, only if you want. <laughs> only if you want to. If you want to grace everyone. I mean. With a little taste <laughs> of the pose. But only if you want. It's going to be kind of hard to PG 13ify. Well, you have to. You have to make it a Starian. And it also might be hard <laughs> just in general, like just a difficult pose. Yeah, it's a, it's a little tricky. Okay, thank God that... Oh, well, wait, I'm not even sharing my whole monitor. So I was like, okay, it opened on the right window. Yeah, 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 you're good. I just... Okay, first of all, I'm not doing a Starian. It would be Vash. And second oh, of all, right, right, is right, this able to TOS? It is tender on sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's for damn sure. I've gotten in too deep. I have to do it. Okay. Uh, You'll find a way. This is life finds a way. You're an finds expert away. at this kind of thing. That's what Jeff Goldblum was talking about. He's talking about the broom pose. Yeah, he's talking about it. drawing <laughs> Vash the Stampede in the broom pose. Yeah. Freaking old Jurassic Park guy had a stat of broom pose statue okay. in the room. Yeah, you didn't notice spared that. No expense. He that's what no he expense. meant by spared yeah, notes. That's why all the twenty-five dollars. That's why they all. <laughs> that's why they all got scooped up. <laughs> this freaking 
freaking uh, what's his face Hammond. Hammond. Should it be ninety eight anime Vash or new Vash? Ninety eight anime Vash. He's the one like who would get would into a predicament easy. like this. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> if if Stampede Vash got into this predicament, he'd just cry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that'll also be easier to do. Um Wall of Ceiling said Dino TNA and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Dino TNA. That's great. <laughs> good. Good job. Okay. Someone Maybe in chat girl. said I closed the tab. Now I got to watch ads again. No. This is Here's something I firmly believe. Is that Twitch needs to get rid of pre-roll ads entirely. I just don't think they make any sense for a site like this. And as, as mainstays of the Twitch platform who stream once a week, <laughs> they, should, they should really listen to us. They should. It's just like it makes it hard to discover new streamers. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can't turn them off, the pre-rolls. You can deactivate the pre-rolls if you... So basically, if we were running manual ads... You can then have it so when we choose to run ads, there's like a time period after which pre-rolls are off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, For sure. Blue Dream said I'd rather have a pre-roll than ads every 30 minutes. You get both. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Everything <laughs> sucks. <laughs> you just get both. You just get both. Yeah, I just think it's hard. It's difficult for like the the discoverability. Yeah, because it's like who's like gonna... I want to jump around yeah. and like see what people's streams are like. Yeah, and if you have to wait like ten minutes every time you click on a new. Yeah. Because what I do is I when the ad starts I I click mute and go to another tab. And then I forget that I what I even was doing. Oh, so that's why it's ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when it says like add one of like eight, yeah, yeah. I'm like they really do just kind of like load them up the longer like, you're around. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Thanks though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, well now that Karina's is drawing, I can I can yeah, talk you, about my. Yeah, you you have to talk now. I need okay, to Okay, let work. me get a seltzer the daddy's first. Daddy's <laughs> Just vamp for like one minute. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob doesn't want to be here for what I have to say. <laughs> yeah, mine's is interesting. Yours is weird. Mine's just weird. What else is new? <laughs> mine's just not timely or topical or culturally relevant. It's it's relevant to me because it's I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a quick seltzer get. Wow. He ran. Maybe he does care. Jacob, what flavor? Oh, he doesn't have the headphones. Jacob, what flavor <laughs> seltzer did you get? So I got, um, when I go to the store, I like to get brands of seltzer I've never tried before and like, oh, you know, this... go through, try them all. This is an unknown brand. This one is by far the bougiest one I've ever seen. Oh, he's got uh -huh. that it's bougie seltzer? Beverage Club Bright what? Side are you, Cucumber are you a Lime. Member, are you a member of the Beverage Club and, and Mr. Like, Bright Side? Well, I'll tell you right now, it's good, but I'm never going to buy it again. It's literally like 3x as expensive for less seltzer than any other brand. So I don't know what they're trying to pull. Wow. But I was curious, and so I wanted to try it. <laughs> oh, this is already really good, Curry. <laughs> <laughs> She's sighing. <laughs> um, so so the, the cultural experience that that i had over the weekend um and you know i i don't know how how much how much humor there there is to derive out of this but i'm, I'm still going to talk about it but i watched uh 
uh, 2001's <laughs> A Space Odyssey. A, a Space wow, Odyssey. that is old. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. This is well. They when they were making A Space Odyssey, they never could have predicted that in 2001, <laughs> the the film Moulin Rouge would. <laughs> Would, would come onto the scene. Okay, so when you say you watched it for the first time, you mean the movie, the film. The movie, the film. Moulin movie, Rouge. Film. Moulin Rouge, the movie, the film. Which, um, like, and and my, my takeaway is that in terms of, like, comparable media that I have experienced in my life, the, the thing that, that, s- like from a sensory perspective comes closest to how that movie made me feel is, is Tim and Eric. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what Nathan said in the chat, in the Discord. And in, I in said the... <laughs> that I was excited to hear him speak on that, but that we were going to save it. Yeah. So that yeah. you could speak on that here. I just haven't seen media that like celebrates the grotesquerie of like the human <laughs> face <laughs> in the same way as like Baz Luhrmann did in Moulin Rouge besides Tim and Eric. Like if you were casting that film today, you you could absolutely cast Eric as like the the circus man. As like the 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 large sweaty circus man. Yeah, I could see that. Mm-hmm. You could have you could have uh, you could have Eric as the circus man and Tim as the Duke, and they could do the like a virgin scene, <laughs> and like shoot it exactly in sort of their style. And I think tonally it would be very similar. Uh. Go on. That's not as wild as I was thinking. I think I feel like you've presented a pretty good case here. I, you know, I really, I, I, I thought you guys were going to rip me to shreds. So I really wanted to, I wanted to come in here and present a sound argument. Sorry, I'm like just really into this drawing. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't rip you into shreds. <laughs> did you? I haven't watched like that it? movie in a while, but. Did you like it, the movie? Did I did I like the movie? Yeah, did you enjoy the movie? I mean, it I you know, I'm glad I saw it. Okay. I don't like <laughs> That's not an answer to the question. It's just it's a lot of it's a lot of close-ups of of sweaty It's a very hyper faces. movie. Yeah. It's inter- it's like it's interesting. It's an interesting time at the at the movies. Do you think when that movie like came out, Boz Lerman was thinking like TVs, they're not gonna get that big. <laughs> <laughs> it was two thousand and one. Yeah, he's like TVs aren't gonna and get that big. And presumably released in a movie theater. Yeah. The well, biggest yeah. TV. <laughs> But he's like, sure, he's people like, are going to watch this in movie theaters for like a couple weeks. But after that, everyone's going to be watching it on their TVs. And TVs aren't that big. So he's like, so we got to get really in there. We got to get in there. So people can see. And then We've now gotta... he's like, oh, no, the TVs are really big oh, and really no. detailed. And now they're going back and watching the movie. They're going to see how sweaty everyone is. <laughs> they didn't no. look so, so bad on the littler TV, but now... I also just I I love the premise of the movie is is basically like in 1900 sorry 1800 Paris there are exactly two people who don't look insane and they fall in love. <laughs> They're the only ones. Yeah. It's like oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But did you cry during the finale? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Your heartstrings weren't weren't tugged upon. You didn't think it was awesome when they did the big finale song. I mean, you didn't super nut. I you didn't super nut sh- at the <laughs> <laughs> finale. <laughs> My new band name. <laughs> I was super like at the finale. 
I was like, here I am now, entertain me. Like the guys. Oh. In the movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These these are good references I'm making. Yeah, I think. Yeah. What did you think of the Tango Roxanne? Uh, it it sure was. Damn. It made, it made me <laughs> honestly. It ju it just made me think of the bit we did where Jacob was was drawing uh Sting. <laughs> I was I like, that was a pretty funny bit. We've already done the sting bit, and you hadn't even seen Moulin Rouge <laughs> <No>. yet. <laughs> what was it for? Ooh, fries. What was what was it for? I just got handed a plate of fries. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Wait. I want to guess what kind of fry. I'm, I'm looking at your face. I'm trying to read <laughs> sort of the expression. French? Why did you say wrench? I said French. Oh, French. <laughs> <laughs> like Moulin Rouge. Like Moulin Rouge and fries. Okay, I think they're... <laughs> thematic. <laughs> I think they're like straight cut fries. Okay. Not as thin as like a McDonald fry. Mm hmm Like a thicker straight cut fry. Not not like a, yeah. as thick as a steak fry. No. Not as thin as a McDonald fry. Okay. But a but a straight fry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Karina, do you have a guess? <laughs> no, I don't have a guess. <laughs> you want to wager Working! a guess? About do you want to wager fries? a guess? I'm good, thank you. Jacob, I do you want to appreciate wanna... being asked? I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a, a hint. They're they're reheated leftover fries from a, a restaurant. Okay. Do you want to guess the restaurant? Do I want to guess the restaurant? Yeah. Restaurant. Is it? Should, am I just gonna start naming restaurants? <laughs> it's a... Well, it's a restaurant that we've, we've yeah. That's all, what I figured. That's what I figured. Is it? We've all frequented. Is it Calexico? It's not Calexico. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, you do get their fries though. I do. Sometimes. I do do that. Is it that that other Mexican place? No, that's another good guess though. Shit. What's okay, another I'll place with fries? At the Punisher. I'm sorry. Well, think Jack. think about the the most fries we've ever gotten oh it's gotta be um freaking um what's that place called <laughs> the uh i like see the logo it, in my mind's eye the the name of the place is the logo yeah bear burger bear burger bear fries burger. bear burger fries they're thick they're 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 not as thick as steak cut but they are straight cut so I you nailed the fry type. You got it exactly right, Jacob. I completely wow. nailed the fry type. You got it. You got it, dude. Damn. Mm. Huge. This Good is huge stuff. for me. Here's they, why I don't are get Are they good reheated? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. We don't Sorry, have an go, air go fryer ahead. or nothing, but we just put them, we put them in, the, in the toaster oven on convection bake. That's basically an air fryer. Yeah. Pretty good. Here's what I don't get. Okay, yeah. What? So they're gonna run away together, Ewan and uh and me and and me and Ewan <laughs> Ewan and me and come what may and they're gonna they're gonna run away in together. <laughs> Gonna run away and together. <laughs> Marlon or Damon? Both. Damn. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they're gonna run away together. They're gonna run away together, and yeah. and then and then the the circus man is like, they're gonna the, he the Duke's gonna kill Ewan, and she's like, I don't care. We we'll we'll just run away. He's not gonna be able to find us. And then he's like. Also, you're dying. And 
And that's what makes her want to stay and do the show. She's like, oh, I have a limited amount of time left on this earth. I should not spend it with the man I love. I should do this this really, like, by today's standard, like, pretty offensive <laughs> show. <laughs> well, it wasn't offensive then. It wasn't offensive really then. Yeah, if yeah, I yeah. had one, one last <laughs> moment on this earth... I want to spend it doing an offensive show. Doing an offensive <laughs> show, and and I also want to make you and really sad. Um, <laughs> then then you and like is like yelling Satine after her, and then just these two random guys that we've never seen before just grab him. One of them punches him, and then they just <laughs> throw him on the ground. <laughs> It's like he didn't do anything. He just yelled after her. They just saw their moment. You know? Yeah, like, they've been waiting for a chance. Let's, let's punch this guy. Finally, I can punch this guy. Honestly, same. Um. So yeah, that was that was my only issue with the with the plot of the of the. But film. wasn't it that she didn't? Well, she was going to die, so she's like, I'm going to make him hate me so that, because it doesn't matter, because I'm going to die. Right, so which he is... he won't be sad about me dying. Because he'll hate me and he'll be glad I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be freaking awesome, dude. But then, but yeah, I guess that's... Is it, that wasn't was her... that it? Look, I don't... I'm I mean, she... it was nuanced. It's, if, it's, <laughs> if that's the reasoning, like, I, I guess, I guess that makes sense. I don't agree with it, but that that makes more sense than I could. She just like sort of takes that information is like, oh, okay, you're right. I should make him sad. But I, yeah, I guess that, yeah, I don't know. I, if if it was me, if I was dying of consumption, and and you and McGregor loved me, I I'd, <laughs> I'd probably want to spend my last moments with him instead of putting on a, a pretty a pretty you know problematic um show and well, then that's, the, that's your prerogative that's yeah i mean that's yeah. the difference between me and and nicole yeah you're a modern man <laughs> yeah if i were about to die up from this? consumption from consumption i would call each one of you up say fuck you uh -huh. I hate you. So that we be wouldn't like, be sad. So that you, you wouldn't die. be sad when I died. Yeah. <laughs> what else is new? I'd be like, fuck you. I hate you. Come to this address at 9 p.m. tonight. You show up. It's me on stage. And I just start saying the most vile shit you've ever heard in your life <laughs> for like a full hour. And then I just drop dead on stage. <laughs> <laughs> And then and everyone then, would be like, like, I'm glad that dude's dead. I'm not sad at all. But like somewhere in there, like a Will Sasso looking guy is like trying to shoot us also. Yeah. We're like scurrying around backstage while like British Will Sasso is is trying to murder us. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to happen. All right. Well, this has been Nathan talks about a film that came out over twenty years ago. Um, as as if it were we, as if so it were new and fresh. Now we're gonna go see it on Broadway. <laughs> right? Oh hell yeah! Let's go. And since you talked about it on stream, it's a company expense. <laughs> Ooh, research. Ooh, yeah, we have to research so we can talk more about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got to jump in and say, Karina, you're absolutely crushing it. Yeah, this is so good. Thank you. <laughs> and also to say, I think we should re-explain broom pose because I know a lot. There's always a lot of turnover and I see a lot of people being like, what the hell is this? This is broom pose. Um, this oh, is the Bash. issue with streams, you know? Yeah. Bash, you silly klutz. How'd you, how'd you get into this predicament? <laughs> well... <laughs> So for those who weren't here earlier, long story short, without getting into it, I saw in an auction lot this anime figurine of a girl with her broom stuck in her clothes and it's pulling her clothes away from her. 
in this exact pose, and I'm now obsessed with this figurine. <laughs> I'm afraid to inform you. I have become obsessed with this figurine, and I think we should all draw our favorite characters doing broom pose. Yeah, and the other favorite has forced character me. doing super nut pose. Doing super nut yeah. pose. And chat said I should draw it. And we cannot show the figure on stream because no. it is NSFW for real, for real. Yeah, Trust it is, me. It is not tender on sweet. Yeah. But it looks something like this. Yeah. In yeah. the original figure, she's like for real naked. <laughs> yeah. Underneath yeah. The, the clothes that are being pulled away by the broom. Yeah. Like, I'll have it ripping a little bit. Yeah. This is very it, tasteful compared in, in to the... the... Yeah. <laughs> the figure is filth. <laughs> and this, I do feel like this is in character for Vash. Yeah, this is very Vash, I think. <laughs> <laughs> He's just um... so silly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing, and um, this is not to call out the person who just got here in chat, but my favorite thing is when someone arrives and says, what did I miss? The instant we just finished yeah. recapping what people had missed. <laughs> like the very second we were done recapping. It's, it's a... Uh... <laughs> It's a constant. It, it, now you have to stay until the next recap. If there even yeah. is Please another one. Please don't go. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the reality of, uh, of, of streaming, you know? Yeah, timed yeah. media consumption, live television. People are always missing something, and you're always continuing what you were doing. Yep. Yeah. And everything we're doing is based on what we already did. It's all it all builds on each other. It's performance art. Yeah. Whoa. But also visual art. Whoa. And now At when Karina time. draws Wolfwood Super Nut, a lot of you are gonna be like, What is this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you won't you won't have the necessary context <laughs> for Wolfwood Super Nut. You're gonna be like, Stop doing this. Stop making Wolfwood Super Nut. <laughs> It's too late. It's too late. I've already just started it. So please stop booing me. But yeah, you should draw your OTP in broom pose and super nut pose. pose yeah. Super nut. I feel like broom pose and super nut is also like really good like show name for like two characters. Yeah. It's like a Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. <laughs> Bruno's and Super Nut. <laughs> and they even you know they get into hijinks. Yeah, like panty and stocking draz. Yeah. Man, I actually really like this drawing. <laughs> you yeah. um it's it's way better than it it needed to be. That's like my is, whole MO, yeah. Yes. I think. On on brand. I've noticed a trend of every time the three of us stream, someone says, I miss Julia in chat. Bro, I miss Julia. Yeah. Around this some wouldn't time. be happening. <laughs> and I always, in my mind, I'm like, I don't know if she would have prevented this. But no, maybe. They, just, they miss, they miss the way like, Julia would have reacted to this. If you don't like that I'm drawing this, then Julia would have prevented it. If you like it, then she wouldn't have. <laughs> I miss her. I mean, we all miss Julia. She's literally sitting right. I'm looking at her. <laughs> right now. Ask her what she would have done to prevent this. We were just talking about how people always say they miss Julia when it's just the three of us streaming and we do something that they don't like. Um, and then I was talking about you like you weren't in the room. But you are in the room. I'm not here. But she's not here in a way that is meaningful to you, chat. Yeah. Okay. Gotta look up super nut. She's unwell. I grinded my teeth so bad I got an infection. No. We Dang. don't know that that's what happened. <laughs> but definitely something has happened. That's the and diagnosis she's... Julia has given. And she's unwell. Yeah.
Oh, yes, here it comes. <laughs> Get ready, everyone. <laughs> Wolfwood Super Nut. Okay, I have to I have to do the underdrawing. <laughs> it has to be perfect. I like went a little too hard on this fast drawing. <laughs> you went just hard enough, like the broom. Like the broom. <laughs> Um, oh, who's who's raiding right now? We're getting a big raid. What? Or at least I see a bunch of people. It was Hey Hey Thirteen was raiding. Thank you. Thank you for hey, the raid. Hey. Appreciate Welcome. it. Welcome. You're just in time for Wolf with Super Night. We're starting the new drawing trend. So if any of you are artists, um, you want to draw your OCs like this, okay? Yeah. You do one of the OCs in broom pose, where the broom is somehow accidentally got caught inside their clothes and is pulling them off. Yeah. And then the other OC in in what's happening now, which is super nut pose, in the foreground. Yeah. Which is based on a. You can Google this. It's a GIF of Should Luigi. Should you Google this? If you type you Luigi just... super nut, or if you just go to the Drawfee Twitter. You can see the most recent tweet yes. contains the super nut. It's, it's a shaking image of Luigi from Mario and Luigi making this expression, and it says super nut underneath. <laughs> so what we have here is Vash the Stampede yeah. exhibiting yeah. broom pose. And and this will be Wolfwood um, performing for you tonight, the super Before nut. <laughs> and in the role of Supernut, we have <laughs> Wolfwood. Sweetie, I'm gonna need you just a little bit more. Wishing there. rats said, "I've been waiting for y'all to do this challenge forever." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you everyone for your patience. I know We're I really finally late to these things. Getting around. To... Yeah. The the drawing challenge has been sweeping the internet. <laughs> yeah, the broom pose Supernut challenge. <laughs> That's the title of the stream VOD, right? Yeah, Broom absolutely. Pose super nut challenge. Bro, yeah. you title them. <laughs> yeah, just title it Broom Pose slash Super Nut Drawing Challenge. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Oh, my God. If I don't see at least one fan art. You'll see at least one, I bet. There's Except there, I have a problem, which is that I don't. I don't one. go on Twitter anymore at all. Well, that's not a problem. That's a solution. But oftentimes, that's where I would see the fan art. That's how mm. would, that was the place it got delivered to me. I, well, okay. Well, mm. someone, someone else maybe go on there and and collect the fan art. Maybe I'll do it for you. Yeah, just bring bring me the curated. Yeah. Selection. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that nut. There's that Remember, nut. Everyone, if we all work together, we can make this a real drawing challenge <laughs> is the problem. Yeah. That's not the problem. It's I the solution. I have not posted on Twitter in, I don't know, like at least two weeks. Is this how I'm returning? Ooh. It feels appropriate. That's true. When they needed her most, I she hate returned. I all of my brush strokes today. Somebody asked if we're on Tumblr now because they I need am. to escape Twitter. Karina's on Tumblr. I'm, I'm trying not to be anywhere. I still post to Tumblr. This looks insane. Um, but because it's a really good archiving system, I never stopped posting to Tumblr. So, yeah, I'm still there. Nowadays, if I have a thought, I just say it out loud oh, to yeah, Julia yeah. if she's nearby. But if not, then I just, you know, I just sort of speak it. Yeah. yeah into being and if it's like you know if if i like the thought that i'm like maybe i'll maybe i'll try and and do something with this thought in a in a drawfee yeah. maybe i'll i'll speak the thought again yeah i don't share my thoughts just my art yeah yeah i just i guess i do say a lot of those thoughts then on a drawfee stream yeah yeah 
Yeah, we we're, what we're we've very been doing. We're fortunate in that we when we have a stupid thought, we do have a way to share it with with a large audience, and we don't have to we don't have to go through the the muck and the mire of of the of the doom scroll of the endless scroll. And see, this goes back to what we were talking about earlier. When I was 19, I would be trifling in the muck and the mire. Yeah. Now, at 34, I, I look down at the muck and the mire and I say, no, thank you. I will remain no. up here. Why Not for me. you were turning 34 this year? No, I'm turning 35 this year. Yeah, that makes sense. And I just forgot. My That's bad. That's okay. We're all, except for you, the Drawfee hosts, turning 35 this yeah. year. I just forgot the order of which. I was like... Jacob's last. Yeah. Me and Julia are... Oh, because I know it's a four-year difference. I was just like, did, is it four when I turn age or whatever? You know what I mean. Everyone in chat is saying bless you to Julia, Aww. who sneezed. She won't, she wouldn't hear you. She's listening to she's watching music videos. She's she's listening she has to her the AirPods in. <laughs> she has her AirPods in. Just watching music videos. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that's happening on one monitor. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's never the only thing that's happening. He's doing it. He's super nutting. Good for him. Okay, yeah, we're not, we're, ugh. This kind of looks like an album cover. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it kind of looks like um, Beetle Bailey. <laughs> it also looks it, like Beetle Bailey. Unfortunately, if you shave Luigi. <laughs> He's Beetle Bailey. You give him Wolfwood's hair. Yeah. <laughs> he becomes a Beetle Bailey character. Andy oh. Cap, yeah. Did I do it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is it. This is it. This so, is yeah. the challenge. So, this is the hot new drawing so challenge. So draw your draw your OCs as Supernut and Broom Pose. <laughs> there are many who theorize that every OC pair has a clear Broom Pose and a clear Supernut. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. within them and yep. I think that's true <laughs> for instance if you, let's let's do it with uh with Shmando oh shit <laughs> to my mind I think Schmidt is broom pose I think he's super nut oh, wow shit. damn it and and this is a... this is a a, a schism <laughs> that exists in the um, yeah. the Schmando fan community. <laughs> it does say a lot about you which one you think is the broom pose. A schism. But don't worry, they're both first. A little schism. Anyway, schism. schism yeah. I might have to post this bash, unfortunately. <laughs> I think it's fortunate. But yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service. Um, okay. I, <laughs> I forgot about this fucking guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> um, can I draw for you the character that before my brain registered Supernut as an image of Luigi, it saw it saw like a, a different character. Can yeah. I draw for you the character yes. that my brain showed to me when I looked at Supernut? I would love that. Okay. So, I'm just going to get sort of the... They say everybody sees something different when they look at Supernut. Yeah. And it tells you a lot <laughs> about like sort of yourself and where you are in your life. It's sort of like... Oftentimes, psychiatrists will show you a picture of Supernut and ask what you see. Yeah, because it's sort of like this, this sort of shape. And it sort of 
does this. You've got he's, the he's cooking right now, and I don't know what he's cooking. <laughs> like, Are you perceiving like the the mustache as sunglasses? Yeah, the mustache is sunglasses. Okay, and the mouth is like a big red nose. This is what I saw. The mouth is a big red nose, so it's kind of like a muppet. Yeah, with like and a he's forehead just lump, with just sort of like a lump on his forehead. And then I guess he's got sort of like this like cheeky little smile, this like toothy smile at the bottom of the that's like right below the nose, sort of like oh, this. Oh, so it's like a nose and a mouth. Yeah. This I don't know what this expression is, but this is not super nut. Well, that's why I was confused by the juxtaposition, <laughs> like why this this sort of chill guy is vibrating so violently about the super nut. <laughs> Sometimes the nuts so super you don't even have time to react to it. <laughs> like this weird, you know, you just sit there smiling, <laughs> sort of lump on his head, and it's more, yeah, he's got like, sort of going like this. Is this super not? I think this it's, is super. This not. is super not. Yeah, <laughs> this dude yeah, never nuts. Seeger, like. Mouth goes fully up into the mustache. Yeah. As mouths do. And then, yeah, he's just got like this little sort of like <laughs> sort of look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to nut. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> You won't get me that easily. Super nut? I'm super not going to do that. <laughs> Opens Bible. <laughs> I do like that I've been seeing it go around again, virtual sin forgiveness. <laughs> what is that? It's like this TikTok of a priest who like absolves you of your sins. <laughs> <laughs> and he just let me find it <laughs> let me okay first i have to save this drawing january 29th uh, anyway um what uh what should i draw <laughs> what should i actually draw? what should i actually draw <laughs> Now that I've drawn super not. What are we oh, getting? We do we do still need to get an Asterian, I guess. Okay, how should what what should I draw Asterian? <laughs> Broom pose. Broom pose or super nut? <laughs> Which one is Asterian and then who is the other one? Asterian's broom pose for sure. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do it. I, we only have 20 minutes left. I'm not going to be <laughs> okay, able to. Okay, then don't do it. Just draw any Asterian. Here, no, I sent I sent vir virtual ocean <laughs> forgiveness in the chat. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a very medium job Asterian broom pose. Oh my God. Just got to go so fast. Just gotta go so you. fast. I do think Carlac is super nut. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he lasers them away. <laughs> he just blasted my sins away. <laughs> you may now enter the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Pew. Um, what was I going to say? conversation topic did you bring to the table, Jacob? Oh, who, me? Yeah, you. Couldn't be. Okay. Then who? 
I'm trying to think if I have a conversation topic for the for the table. <laughs> I don't think I do. Nothing. I haven't thought about anything. That's good. Here's here's a thought that I'm that I've had recently. You think? Recently? <laughs> recently. Yeah. What what is it, Nathan? Um, it's like when people ask me how my weekend was, like mm -hmm. the only, the only interesting things that happened to me happen in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I, like my, my default, like what I want to be like is like, oh, I went to this house that was like full of poltergeists and then like. I don't know. I killed the poltergeist, but then I got to the top floor and the house just like does damage to you if you don't get rid of all these skulls. And it's like, you can't just say that to a person. No, you can't. I mean, you can, but they're not going to know what you're talking about. They're not going to know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like on the same level as like if you had something funny happen in your D&D &D game. Yeah. And then you try to like explain that to someone, especially if it's someone who like is not familiar with D and D or like yeah. any role playing games like that. And then they're like, so you just, you just like made this up. You're just telling me something that you you're made up. You're telling me something <laughs> that you made up is that's basically what we're getting at here is that you just like made up a story. You just played pretend with and, your friends. And now you're telling it to me like, and like it happened like it happened but you just made it up <laughs> i guess <laughs> i remember like like when i was like a teen before i'd ever i didn't know anything about D D, and i saw like a video online of someone that was like talking about it something that happened in D D, and i was so <laughs> confused in that same way i was like but isn't it just all made up <laughs> i was like couldn't you just like say anything in it like what, what stops you from just doing whatever? And, uh, you know, now, now I know it's the dice, the dice that stop you. It's the dice that stop you. It's the dice. The dice. The dice. See, I used to think it was just like when you were a kid and you were like, my character beats up your character and then your friend's well, that was like a fun, your that friend's was a like fun no game. he doesn't because my character has a jetpack and he flies away and then you're like oh yeah well my character has wings and he, they fly faster than a jetpack <laughs> and he's like yeah well my character emits a fire aura that burns the wings that come near him yeah well like, oh, now well, we're adults are and of all of our characters have nuance they all have wings <laughs> and jetpacks your character has jetpacks mine's has a mental illness <laughs> <laughs> mine has a broom stuck in his clothes <laughs> <laughs> and it's making his clothes go all go, go all silly go it's, all silly it's, what really makes the pose is the Hotness with which the clothes are like being pulled. Hotness. <laughs> when I saw the picture from a distance, I thought it was like a street pole or like a signpost, which in hindsight is an even funnier thing to be stuck <laughs> to. <laughs> like a stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a whole series where it was a different thing <laughs> each time. Many people are asking like what the broom figure's name is, but it's like really pornographic. So that's why we're not saying. Yeah. But people have found it in chat. So hang around. You'll see. You'll see it. I'm sure. We just can't be liable. Yeah. Yeah. If you get there, tell them Drafi didn't send you. You can't tell them anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one to tell. Just they tell them. Just it. don't tell them. Just don't tell them then. I gotta give them these little fangs, of course. 
his fongs. Oh, this broom. <laughs> I do want to make this a drawing challenge. It just seems kind of like out of pocket to do. <laughs> it's a mate is perfect. Frankenstein corpse said they already ordered the figure. Oh my God. You better not have gotten the cheapest one because I was thinking of getting it for Jonah's birthday. <laughs> and I'm tired of fighting with people over online sales. <laughs> I can't live like this. <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> When we make a Drawfee figure, it's just going to be this, <laughs> but with who? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Porfo, and then instead of a broom, it's Jacob Horse. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's like... going to be the mug, but it, and then the stylus. <laughs> like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Damn, skinny. <laughs> They said I scooped it from an auction for $225. <laughs> it's a good joke. Boo, boo. See, this person's been here the whole time. They're here and they yeah, can do the wow, callbacks. Someone's caught up with the story. Oh. They're not coming in here being like, what I miss? <laughs> oh, this is going to destroy my targeted ads? Why are you not doing this incognito? The whole mode exists for this reason. It exists for broom. That's the broom pose you, mode. But at least it won't be in your history. I think you want people to know you were looking for this. <laughs> I didn't look at it in incognito. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't care. I don't. Who's going to see? Yugi. Jesus. Jesus and Yugi. My assigned FBI agent. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> Not the weirdest thing I look up on any given day. This is for research purposes. Yeah, this is a tax write off. <laughs> oh my God. Mentioned on stream. Can I tax write off buying this figure? I think you can, right? <laughs> It's like for pose reference. It's for pose reference. <laughs> yeah, for the drawing challenge that everyone's doing. It's the hottest drawing challenge. Yeah, we just have to stay up to date on all the hot drawing challenges. We didn't invent it or anything. It's just going around. <laughs> Pretty sure it was uh, freaking, you know, Jazza or something, did it? Yeah. <laughs> Jazza. <laughs> I can't it's believe like, Jazza uh, did this. Uh, this Lavender why Town would Jazza this. do this? <laughs> That's where I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of it. Yeah, you did a good job too. It's, I mean, it's kind of a fun pose. Everyone should do this. It is a fun pose. Everyone should do this. It's not fully. It's not. He's mumbling. Oh, okay. shit. Okay. It's his mumble core verse in the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> and then Carlac Supernut. <laughs> yeah, Carlac, Carlac Supernut. Okay. Or, I mean, who else on the squad would be Supernut, do you think? Gale. Gale would be super nut. I think Lazel and Shadowheart are both broom pose. Lazel's just mad about it. <laughs> Will is broom pose. Carlac <laughs> um, and Gale, are they the only super nut? Halson is super walk nut. Up to Halson any is couple. <laughs> um, Jahira. Jahira could be super nut. What about Withers? Who the fuck is Withers? He's like he's a nasty the, old skeleton he's man. He's the nasty old bone man who lets you change your class and hire hirelings. What? He's just a gross old skeleton guy. 
God damn. I don't think he's super nuts, though. I don't think he gets involved in either one of these, to be honest. It's That's a what spectrum. He says. Yeah. I neither broom pose nor super nut. <laughs> Which one are you going with? I said I was going to do Carlac, so... But her hair goes... It's like parted the wrong way. I have to cheat it so that it's going this way. I just, I see the head shape and it makes me laugh. Something about this image. I found like my, this image like speaks to my spirit. <laughs> I understand I NFTs now. I want to own this image. <laughs> <laughs> I want to own this JPEG. And then no one else can have it. <laughs> We've lost him. Send him out. <laughs> she also has like sharp teeth. Oh, we haven't um, done any episode spoilers. Oh, episode spoilers. Episode spoilers. You want to, what's, what's a hint about tomorrow's well, app? Tomorrow's app is, tomorrow's is, tomorrow's <laughs> is, it is. Oh, oh, tomorrow's is a five-star episode for sure. Oh, yes. I'm, it sure I'm is. Rating tomorrow's episode five stars. This is not a good Carlac, but it's fine. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. She's, she's, oh, she's, I thought the is, one that comes out next week comes out this week. This is what happens when you give her the soul coin. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we got some good episodes coming up, but if I ever don't say we got some good episodes coming up, you'll know we're, we're like in some dire straits. Yeah. If we're ever on stream and I'm like the next few ones, <laughs> you're going to want to skip. <laughs> got a couple skippers you're not you're not gonna like these ones gang <laughs> <laughs> so sorry we're we're still releasing them they're just not good the next ones are filler we should do a dravi filler arc i guess we need to have like an overarching story first in order to do a filler arc yeah Imagine. Uh, well, I was going to say a spoiler for one, but I was thinking of next week's episode. You can still say it. I sent you that really funny thing, the, the worms ad. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. I always like before I fall asleep, I always like read manga and I get like weird ads and shit, you know, on the sites and then I'll just screenshot them and then forget about them until the following day. And then I'll just find them on my camera roll and be like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> and I got one yesterday that was like so genuinely upsetting because like the picture that it was like, un like underneath was of like a weird like it was one of those like what is it the tryptophobia type shit pictures oh, yeah, of like yeah. a weird scabby foot it was like so upsetting but th the text <laughs> was um where the fuck did it go where did it go i already lost it um the lump of worms will come out of you in the morning try it <laughs> try it 
<laughs> and I was like, I don't understand. Just try. I'm you, haven't, upset. You, haven't, you haven't tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Just give it a try and see. What's it going to hurt you to see? To try? To see, to oh, try, to do? Nathan, this would be a great emo. <laughs> Porfo super nut. Should we do this one instead of Luigi? Yeah, it is kind of more. We can give him a, like a Luigi mustache. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, no, like, it looks like he's got sunglasses. Yeah, you need the nose. Uh, Orpho doesn't have a nose. I don't no. know. Okay, no, no sunglasses and Just mustache. Just a big mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect as is. Somehow, without the nose, it it doesn't look like super nut anymore. No, it just looks it's... like big screaming mouth. Do I, do I have to give Orfo a nose? <laughs> no, it won't or... work. It won't work. Whoa. It ain't right. Just looks we'll, like a we'll guy. workshop it. We'll yeah. workshop it. Yeah, I like maybe, it as just maybe, a big mouth though. Maybe Porfo just needs to be broom pose. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so. Um, but yeah. Well, Damn. thank thank you all for joining Supernut Broom Pose stream um, <laughs> with with this guy. <laughs> there he is. There he Perfect. is. What happened to you? Michael. What happened to, to you? you? <laughs> to you. Why is that giving my wife left? That was that was what I was inspired. It's it's really you did funny. It. Yeah. Nailed it. Just some about the long you, you can you can <laughs> interpolate, you can you can imagine just a big sigh in between. Michael, <laughs> what happened? To you. To you. <laughs> Whoa. Come what may. Come what may. All right, we're done. We're done. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching. Five Hopefully... star episode out tomorrow, or if you're Ooh. watching the VOD, it's already out. Hopefully next week we'll all be back in the same spot, all feeling good, feeling yeah. fresh. Yeah. Thank you for the raid. Neil versus Yasha, you're a little late because we're ending the stream. <laughs> but I appreciate it nonetheless. And thanks to everyone who's been subscribing and gifting subs. Wow. We appreciate all y'all and all your support. Uh, yeah. En enjoy the episodes this week. We'll see you next time. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry.